Hello, everybody. Becky Cohen here, um, Platinum Leader and Trainer. So today we are inside Travel Uni to do our St. Lucia certification. You guys, if you haven't registered for Travel Uni, it is found um, in our community that you can find the link to that to get registered. There's a, a lot of information inside here. We're going to, I think, believe, come over here to these dots, go to courses. It's not dots, it's slashes. So we're going to come over here to our courses. We're going to click on courses. And then you guys are going to find some that you might have already have done or some that you want to do. So we're going to come down and get started with St. Lucia. All right. So we're going to go to the training. Are we ready? Now we have to go in and register with the St. Lucia or log in. I'm going to try my login up here in the top right hand corner. You guys see if you haven't been inside Travel Uni or tried um, St. Lucia or have something connected with your account, you may have to register. So let's just try to log in again. It's going to take us to see if we are which we might not be. And again, I'm not sure what my password is going to be. So you know what? I'm just going to register. Let's go to register. What is this? Oh, so they can check to see if we are. Yay. There we go. Yes. Yes. Great news. Maybe I don't have to remember my password on this one, you guys. Oh, sorry. Maybe it's the one I just made. Who knows? I'm going to try to see if it'll remember me. Yay. Are you there with me, Shirley? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I always have such difficulties sometimes. Okay, so welcome to the St. Lucia Tourism Authority Online Training Program. This is the beginning of a, an exciting relationship with St. Lucia, one that we hope will be fun and rewarding. Completing this short course will open up many great opportunities, which include invitations to events, fam trips, and rewards for booking bookings made to St. Lucia. The objective of this course is to help increase your product knowledge of the island in a fun and informative way so that you are able to sell to your clients more confident confidently and become the most sought after title of St. Lucia expert. This course will also help you answer most of the common questions that your clients may ask about St. Lucia as well as provide you with the ideas to creating the perfect itinerary. Let's get rid of this bar here. As a reward for your efforts on completion of this course, you will receive a special gift congratulating you on becoming a St. Lucia expert you will then be become eligible to join our incentive program by logging all bookings to make the island in the rewards section of this training program to win some great prizes. To qualify for a place on one of our FAMs, uh, a minimum of two bookings must be logged within a qualifying time period. All agents are required to take a ref the refresher course at the end of each year to retain their status and also log their bookings made to St. Lucia. Thank you. Yay. Let's become a St. Lucia expert. Um, yay, yay, yay. Here we go. Start training. We're going to go into the island overview and history. Um, St. Lucia is one of the windward islands in the Caribbean Sea and also part of a chain of islands called Leicester Antilles. <clears throat> this small but beautiful island measures 14 miles wide and 27 miles long with a population estimated at around 170,000. 79,000, sorry. The first settlers in St. Lucia were peaceful Arawak Indians, 
Arawak, is that right? Who are believed to have become, have come to have come from Northern South America around 200 AD. The Arawaks decided to call the island that which meant land of the iguanas due to the island's high number of iguanas at that time. The fierce and more aggressive Caribs then arrived in St. Lucia around 800 AD, seized control of the island and renamed it Hinwanarari. Uh, whatever. Yeah, what? Hinawar that, whatever. I know, right? This is also the original name of the airport there you go in Vieuxport. um there is no record that columbus discovered saint lucia however it is said that he was one of the first europeans to land on the island in 1499 the british this, then came in 1663 and in 1667 the french arrived for the next 150 years, the control of the island changed 14 times from being ruled seven times by the British and seven times by the French until it was finally, finally ceded to the British in 1814. Over the next century, St. Lucia settled into the stable democracy of and multicultural society that it is today. The country named renamed under the British crown until it became independent within the British Commonwealth on the 22nd of February, 1979, a date that is celebrated by St. Lucians worldwide every year. Despite the length of British rule, the island's French culture legacy is still evident, especially in its rich Creole dialect and places place names around the island. The main language spoken is English. However, French, a French-based Creole is spoken as a result of the island's dual French-British heritage. Like other Caribbean Creole, Creoles, St. Lucian French Creole combines elements of African and Carib origin with a primarily French derived vocabulary. The St. Lucia Amazon, also known as Amazona viscolor, is a species of parrot only found in St. Lucia, making the, the, this the island's national bird. Locally known as the Jacob parrot, in the darkness of the forest, it blends into the green leafy world, but in the sunshine, it's red, green and blue feathers light up majestically in the sky. St. Lucia is the birthplace of two noble um, Lorettes who by re re a remarkable coincidence were both born on January 23rd. The late Sir Arthur Lewis won the Nobel Prize for Economics in 1979 and the late Sir Derek Walcott won the 1992 Nobel Prize for Literature. So let's get around, okay? British Airways. St. Lucia is very easy to get to with British Airways operating a daily schedule, um, also known TUI, who operate one flight a week. Both airlines offer direct services to St. Lucia from London, Gatwick, and the flight time is approximately eight hours. Departure tax is also included in all tickets. There are two airports serving the island. The first is the Hanawarnara International Airport and the v Venex Fort in south in the south of the island, and the other is <clears throat> George F. L. Charles Airport, which is located in Castries, the capital. The George F. L. Charles Airport is a domestic airport which can be used to <clears throat> island hop between neighboring shores. The average travel time from Hinawanara Air International to the north of the island is 90 minutes. Taxis are widely available across St. Lucia and point-to-point -point fares are fixed. It is advisable to establish the cost of the journey before setting off 
And this can be also, this can also be booked at the reception of all hotels. In the Castries, Rodney Bay, <clears throat> and Sophia areas, water taxis are available along the West Coast to the island's top 10 beaches and also the nearby fishing villages. A network of mini buses provides public transport to most corners of the island and the fares are reasonably cheap. Vehicles can be rented from the airports and hotels and can also be booked in advance through local and international companies. A full, dri a full driving license from York country of residence must be valid and visitors will need to obtain a temporary driving permit purchasable from the rental company or local police station to be able to drive in St. Lucia. <clears throat> also, just like in the UK, they drive on the left side. So perfect if your clients are looking to explore the island on their own. So useful information. The official currency used in St. Lucia is the Eastern Caribbean dollar. However, it is interchangeable with the U.S. dollar at a fixed rate of U.S. $1 to EC $2.70, which is acceptable island-wide. Most items can be paid for with U.S. dollars, and hotel rates are often quoted in this currency. St. Lucian's Lucian banks are have a full range of banking and foreign currency services. Cash in EC dollars can be obtained using all major credit and debit cards from ATM machines located at most banks. Normal banking hours are from 8 to 2 p.m. and some banks <clears throat> are open until 5 p.m. on Friday. Banks at the Rodney Bay Marina are also open from 8 a.m. until 12 noon on Saturdays. Passports must have a valid validity <clears throat> of at least six months from date of departure to travel to St. Lucia. A visa is not required for British passport holders. However, for citizens of either countries, visa requirements may vary. For information, you're going to contact the High Commission's St. Lucia. The time difference between St. Lucia and the UK is four hours behind Greenwich Mean Time in the winter and five hours in the summer. <clears throat> St. Lucia's Tropical climate sees temperatures ranging from 25 to 35 Celsius all year round. The dry season runs from December to May, whilst the rainy season runs from June to November. However, being an all year round destination, even during the rainy season, most days will be dry, bright, and sunny. The duty-free allowance in Saint, into St. Lucia is 200 cigarettes or 50 cigars um, of tobacco and 20 or and 40 fluid ounces of spirit or wine. So here's a travel guide if you wanted to, to do that, <laughs> right? If you wanted to know more. All right. So let's take our first test. Let's see. Has St. Lucia has two Nobel Prize winners. That was true, right? <laughs> I got a different question. I've got, oh, what is the name of the rare and beautiful bird found in the mountainous forest range of St. Louis, the Jacques Perry? Uh-oh. Um, well, that was the, what was it? Yeah, I got it right. Okay. What is the size of St. Lucia? Uh, 27 miles. By 14? Uh, I don't know how many times I can't get to that question. I know. It, well, it's not it's not 40 by 20. It was uh, 27 by 14. Darn it. Okay. So we'll go back over years. Here's the bird, the jackal parrot. All right. We got that. Submit. That one was right. Right. Okay, the capital of St. Lucia is Sofuri. No. no. 
um false it was that um started with a c correct okay um, options cast street it didn't have an option it was a true or false oh okay and it was false so all flights from the uk fly into hinoana international airport where is the airport located that was um Castries, the capital, correct? That's what I'm going to say. No. Please try again. The VX Fort? Yep. Yes. The VX, the VUS, however you say that. All right. St. Lucia is one of the most mountainous Caribbean islands. What is the name of the two towering volcanoes on the southwest coast side? <clears throat> we didn't get there. We didn't do that question. Sure didn't. Um, shall we say the cones? Just guess. It's not right. Uh-oh. We didn't do that question. How come it's taking us? Did we like miss something? No, because it's just learn that module again. Um, the triangles, the pintons, or the pinnacles? The pitons? I don't know. Oh, I got it. It's the pitons. What is the time difference between St. Lucia in the UK in the summer? Four hours. Or is it five? Four, it's four or five. No, nope, it's the five. Yes, five. Okay. Which airline offered direct services to St. Lucia? Um, it was and again we didn't it's the uh one that has T Y in it and the Cook one. British the Airways. British Airways, American, T U I and Thomas Cook. What is it? British Airways, Thomas Cook, American Airlines, and TUI? No, it's not American Airlines. It's the other one. British Airways, Thomas Cook, Vir Virgin Atlantic, or Delta Air France, Virgin Thomas not Cook? Delta, the other one. This I got one? it right. I forgot one. I don't miss two already. Oh, okay. So it's Virgin Atlantic. British Airways, Thomas Cook, and TUI. All right, okay. Which currencies are widely accepted in St. Lucia? Select all that apply. The euro and the US dollar. The euro and the US? Nope. No. Eastern Caribbean dollar, the EC. It's the oh. EC. EC and the US. All right. St. Lucia is predominantly a French-speaking country. Well, <clears throat> false. We'll go with false. Yay. We got 100%. I didn't. Uh, I, I need to ask this too. St. Lucia is one of the most mountainous Caribbean. What's the name of the two mountains? It was the Pinot. What is it? Pinnacles? No, the other one. The Pitons? Yeah, I think so. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, what's the size of Saint Lucia? Uh, twenty, uh, twenty-seven, seven, uh, fourteen. No, uh, what are they? Twenty-seven, fourteen. I know the one twenty-seven. Twenty. This is right. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Let me see 14. if I got it right. Yeah, I passed. I passed. I didn't get all, all right. Okay, let's go to our next module. Test score of 100. Okay, here we go. Adventures. Whether your clients are sports enthusiasts, nature lovers, adventure seekers, or they just want to shop at one of the island's duty or three duty free shopping malls, St. Lucia definitely has something for everyone. Even a day relaxing on one of the island's gorgeous beaches makes the experience memorable and will satisfy the most adventurous soul. 
experience a real St. Lucia plantation with a working mill at the Morn Calabri Historical Adventure Park, taking in the stunning views of, uh, sorry, Petit Patin, uh, the historic town of Sofrier, uh, and the beautiful Caribbean Sea on an eight zipline adventure suitable for all the family, as well as learn the make uses of sugarcane and the production of the cocoa bean into chocolate. The Treetop Adventure Park, situated in Dennery on the east coast of the island, offers visitors a thrilling way to see the lush rainforest and experience the highest of the longest zip line in St. Lucia. Um, located in Bombonet, in the north of the island, Rainforest Adventures has a great choice of activities such as a canop canopy tram ride for a relaxing panoramic view of the rainforest and an adventurous zip line with 18 platforms. The Segway Tour located in the heart of Rodney Bay is lots of fun and informative too. The tour includes a two mile long nature trail, amazing views of the Rodney Bay coastline, Pigeon Island, Mount Gimme, um, Redoute Beach and Martinique. Stops are made to feed fish at Stone Faced Fish Pond, enjoy local fruits and learn about local flora as well as the island's history. With ATV tours, your clients can ride through the picturesque northeast of the island, um, taking in great views of the Atlantic Ocean. Take a boat to a secluded, secluded to the secluded Ains Mamine Beach, sorry, in Soferrera, and mountain bike through an old sugar plantation. There are various trails available from beginner's levels to more difficult trails, depending on your client's ability. The tour guide will point out the difference flora and fauna along the way, as well as give historical historical account of what life is like working and living and working on the plantation. Hmm. Uh, the lush, vibrant landscape, mountainous interiors, dense rainforest, and palm-fringed beaches of St. Lucia create the ideal setting for excursions that focus on nature. From the active client, there are 29 miles of trails through 1900 19,000 acres of rainforest to stroll through. For clients who would like a non-strenuous walk, the Bari de Lisle Trail is ideal, or for those wanting something a little more challenging, climb, climbing Gros Piton is also highly recommended. Situated in Sofia, it is a nature's lover's dream, the waterfalls and gardens. Diamond Botanical, sorry, um, with a wide range of plants and colorful flowers on display. An informative guide will take you on a tour of the gardens, explaining the medicinal uses of the plants and allow your client to use the mineral baths on site, which have reputedly therapeutic benefits for rheumatism, respiratory complaints, and ulcers. Mamakua Gardens sits on 12 acres of national woodland in Macau and offers a number of hidden gardens full of colorful blooms and herbs, as well as banana plantation and wildlife. The Sulphur Springs in St. Lucia is approximately 45 hectares and is the Caribbean's only drive-in volcano. A walk through the crater takes you past hot spring pools bubbling with sulfur-laden steam. Just outside of the springs, your clients can bathe in the warm sulfuric pools reputed for its soothing effects. Near the town of Sulfurera, just a stone throws from the scenic main road lies a breathtaking waterfall called Torren Torrelia. Gushing 50 feet over the cliffside and cascading into a refreshing pool at the center of a charmingly landscaped garden. 
The island has over nine main birding sites and is home to over 167 species of birds, six of which are endemic to the island, making St. Lucia a fantastic destination for bird watching. And you can click here to download the Birding in St. Lucia brochure. Yay! So on the water, the contrast between the calm of the Caribbean Sea and the vibrant Atlantic Ocean makes St. Lucia the perfect haven for a variety of water sports. The sparkling waters off St. Lucia provide an exhilarating playground for memorable experiences for both beginners and experts alike. St. Lucia is just as beautiful underwater as it is on land with an array of coral reef and marine life to satisfy any keen diver or sort snorkeler. There are several spectacular dive sites around St. Lucia, ranging from easy to the most challenging, including is the award-winning The Keyhole Pinnacles, voted one of 10 of the 10 best dive sites in by the Caribbean Travel and Life. Snubba is a fantastic water activity, even if your client has never snorkeled before or has the most ba basic swimming skills. It will allow your client to explore the, a three-dimensional world and enjoy that experience at any depth. Sea Trek Helmet Diving will bring your client face to face with the marvel of marine life. There are no masks, no mouthpiece, no stress, and no complications. Your client can even wear the prescription glasses as their entire head will stay dry throughout the underwater adventure. St. Lucia is great for whale and dolphin watching. There are 33 species of whales in the world. <clears throat> and over 20 live in and visit St. Lucia, Lucia's waters, where a wide range of dolphins can also be found. For more information, go here, visit these. Other water sports for sailing enthusiasts. <clears throat> a yacht can be charted for the day to explore the scenic coastline and the bays of St. Lucia, Rodney Bay and Marigot Bay, are the two most popular marinas on the island. The marinas offer safe anchorage, shower facilities, restaurants, groceries, and maintenance facilities. The Atlantic Ocean side of the island is perfect for kite surfers, wind surfers, and deep sea fishing. The most popular spots for inter intermediate and advanced wind surfers are Cause and Baz and VX Fort. St. Lucia is an angler's dream come true, offering some of the best deep sea fishing in the world with the opportunity to catch several species of big name fish, such as white marlin. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Land sports from the world's from the from world class cricket to tennis and golf. A, a whole range of sporting activities await your clients on island. Cricket is a very popular sport in St. Lucia, and the island is home to world-renowned Darren Sammy Cricket Ground, named after a former West Indies cricket captain and St. Lucian native. Formerly known as the Bias Jor Cricket Ground, this stadium was built in 2002 just outside of Rodney Bay, and has hosted many regional and international matches, including England's group, group games in 2007 Cricket World Cup. The cricket season is from March to August. However, friendly matches are arranged throughout the year on island. Golf is also very popular on the island. Sandals, St. Lucia Golf, and Country Club in Cape Estates offer an 18-hole championship course while Sandals Regency Golf and Spa at La Toc in Castries offers a nine-hole course in picturesque surround surroundings. For more information on golfing, go to St. Lucia, click here. Overall, St. Lucia is perfect for, for sporting groups, spe spectators, and active holiday makers. The island is a, has a variety of sports venues with good facilities that are suited 
to a wide range of sports such as tennis, netball, football, athletics, hockey, basketball, cycling, cricket, golfing, boxing. And here we can go to download that. So yes, I already knew that Sandals had some golf resorts um, in St. Lucia. Yay. Cultural activities. For those clients wanting to learn more about the history of St. Lucia, there are many cultural tours available. Those such as Fond Le Sable Creole Park and Le Chan Country Life provide experiences based on the natural, cultural, <clears throat> and historical heritage of St. Lucia, giving your clients the opportunity to learn our traditional Creole practices firsthand. Then there are the likes of the Fonduax Plantation, which sits on 135 acres of land and is still a working coca, co, cocoa plantation. Watch the fermentation of and drying process of the cocoa beans, as well as the traditional cocoa bean dance, which polishes the beans before roasting. Tapual National Nature Trail <clears throat> is a lush six acre hiking trail which boosts some of the most spectacular views of the south of the island. The Jalassia Bay, Petit Piton, and Gros Piton, as well as Martin Q, Martinique Q, and St. Vincent on a clear day. On the tour, your clients will also experience a K Kasaba hut where the Amerindian tradition art of Farin and Kasava production can be learned, as well as lessons about the naturally grown medicinal plants and trees. Pigeon Island National Park is a historical landmark in the far north of the island. It was home to the Amerindians and even used as a pirate's hideout. During the 15th century, it, it was used as a military base when St. Lucia was being fought over by the British and the French. The island exchanged hands between the two countries 14 times and today Remnants of the old military forts and officers' mess can still be seen. Rhythm and Rum Tour is a fun tour which links the production of rum with the cultural heritage of the island. It includes a tour of the main distillery factory where you will be able to see the molasses bat, copper stills, and the process of casting the spirit in oak barrels. The tour ends with a carnival extravaganza, a colorful costume and steel band music. There is also a tasting station with an array of rums to sample. Yay, it's our test, test time, ready? Okay, yours are gonna be different again, right? Which, which historical landmark is the former home of the Amer Amerindians a military base and a private hideout during the um, 15th century. Um, Tepal Natural Trail, Pigeon Island National Landmark, Mamaka Gardens, or Fond Le Sitab. I don't remember. I don't either. Let's try Tet. Tepal, wrong. Tepal was wrong. Uh -oh, wait a minute. What's the question again? Which historical landmark is the former home of uh, Amerindians, military base, and hideout, a pirate hideout, Pigeon Island? We'll try. Yay, it's Pigeon Island National Landmark. I ain't got to that question yet. My okay. question Which UNESCO World Heritage Site can be seen from the Tent Paul Nature Trail? Sulphur Springs, Diamond Botanical Garden. Fondo Plantation, the Pittons. I think it's the Pittons, right? Um, yeah, that's right. Okay. As a part of St. Lucia's English heritage, cricket is a, is a most popular sport on the island. While friendly matches are arranged throughout the year, when is the official cricket season? Um, 
April to September? No. Mm -hmm. September to April, isn't it? No. Uh, March to August? February to July. March to August. Okay. St. Lucia has 10 anemic bird species. True. False. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got that one wrong. It's false. I can't go back. Um, so this was, which one was it? St. Lucia is the home to the Caribbean's only drive-in volcano. What was the name of this attraction? Um, the Sulphur Springs? No. Yes. Mm. The drive-in volcano is the Sulphur Springs. The Keyhole Pinnacles was voted one of the best um, dive sites. The Keyhole Pinnacles. Yes, true. The Keyhole Pinnacle was voted one of the best dive sites by the Caribbean Travel and Life. That's true. Yes. The UNICEFCO World Heritage Site can be found from um, yep. the Keyhole Nature Trail. The Sulphur Springs? No, I got that one already. I Which forgot the, what's the answer? Sulphur Springs, Diamond Botanical, the Fondue's Plantation, or the Pitons? The Pitons. Correct, the Pitons. Where in St. Lucia are the most popular spots for intermediate and advanced windsurfers? Um, the Kaz in Baz and Fort or Venaeus Fort. Yes, the Kaz in Baz and Venaeus Fort. Okay. Which tours provide a cultural and historical experience of the heritage of St. Lucia? Select all that apply. Um, let's see, which tours provide a cultural and historical experience? I don't remember Cook Like a Lucian, or did we? Fond, List, uh, Saab, Creole Park, La Lucian, Country Life, um, Rhythm and Rum Tour, Tet Paul Nature Trail, Pigeon Island National Park. Um, okay, so we're going to say them all. Oh, no. oh, there's only two. You guys, there's only two. So it's the Fond, Lesheroe Creole Park, and Lucian Country Life. Which of the following activities can you do while in St. Lucia? Zip, liking, zip lining, ATV biking, bungee jumping was not one of them. Sea Trek, helm, sea Trek helmet diving was swimming with the sharks, whale and dolphin watching. So whale and dolphin watching, Sea Trek helmet diving, ATV biking and zip lining. Those are my choices. Yes, correct. A treetop adventure park, which offers visitors a thrilling way to explore St. Lucia's lush range forest and experience the highest and longest zip line on the island is located where? In Dennery? Yes, in Dennery. Okay. Hey, I got a question. Which historical landmark is a former home of American Indian military based in private highlight of the 15th century? Um, Fawn LaSalle, Ted Paul Nature Trail, Pigeon Island National Park, Landmark, Macmu, Mamiku Garden. Um, I I'm I I can't understand the question. So hang on. I got to do mine over because I was under which tour provides a cultural and historical experience of the hate. Um, so that was 
the Frond Creole Park and the Lucian Caribbean, or I mean the Lucian Country Life. Submit. Okay. Um, St. Lucia is home to the Caribbean's only drive-in volcano. What was the name of it? The Soda S. The Sulphur Springs. Yeah. Okay. Treetop Adventure Park, which offers visitors a thrilling way to explore St. Lucia's rainforest, is, look, the zip line is located in Dennery. Okay. Um, which of the following activities can you do on St. Lucia? Zip lining, ATV. Sea whale track, watching. Sea track and whale watching. Right. All right. The UNICEFO World Heritage Site can be fall, found from the Pitons. The Pitons. All right. Um, where in St. Lucia are the most popular spots for intermediate windsurfers? And that was the Kassin Boss. All right. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there. Oh. St. Lucia has 10 birds. True. Oh, sh got that one wrong again. I think it's got Me like too. 18 or something. Okay, so... A part of St. Lucia English heritage, cricket is which friendly matches are arranged throughout the year? When is the official season? Um, March. March to August. Yes. Which historical landmark is the former home of Ameridans, a military base, the private island? Um, that was Pigeon Island National park landmark yes is that the one you were asking yeah the keyhole pinnacles was voted one of the best true okay i only got that one wrong this time <laughs> yay did i pass yay okay thank goodness all right saying i do here we go um, named the world's leading honeymoon destination eight times by the World Travelers Award, St. Lucia boasts some of the most beautiful and unique wedding and honeymoon settings imaginable. Having a romantic candlelit dinner at the foot of the Piton um, cannot be recreated anywhere else in the world. St. Lucia offers couples the freedom to have their wedding just the way they want it. Whilst the traditional church wedding service is always popular. There are a number of unique locations on the island to say I do. Your clients can get married by a stunning waterfall, on a gorgeous beach, in a beautiful botanical garden, on a private yacht, in an elegant plantation, house, or in an 18th century historical military ruins. Many hotels on the island have dedicated wedding coordinators who will take care of everything for the special day. The most amazing thing about getting married in St. Lucia is that you are perfectly placed for your honeymoon straight after. It's really easy to get married in St. Lucia. All your clients need are the following documents, a passport, birth certificate, decree absolute if no parties, if no one if one of the parties is divorced, in the case of a widow or a widower, a death certificate of the first spouse is required. And if the name has been changed, a deed poll is required. If one of the parties is under the age of 18, evidence of consent of parents is required in the form of a swarm affidavit stamped by a notary. Um, St. Lucia O also has no residency policy, which means client, clients arriving on the day uh, on the island for a day can be married within hours. An application to be married in St. Lucia must be made by a local solicitor to the attorney general or notary who prepares, prepares the sign and signs the license. The license fees are as follows, the EC 335, um, if the clients are staying on the island for more than three days, 540 for a special license if they're there for less than 24 hours. 
So our coordinators are St. Lucia has an extensive list of wedding planners who can help arrange the perfection destination wedding for your clients from the flowers to the photography to the cake reception and paperwork. These dedicated wedding coordinators are experienced in ensuring a seamless and magical special day. Here they are, all the different lists, the awesome weddings, uh, weddings in St. Lucia, barefoot holidays, dreamy weddings, tropical island weddings. Popular locations are the beaches, Reduant, Rodney Bay, Pigeon Island, Grosset Inlet, Sugar Beach, Shulfur, Uns Conchar, Conchon, uh, Inez, Laray, Waterfalls, the Diamond Falls, the Sophia Top Falls, the Torreo Falls, the Sophia Latilia Falls, and the Macad, the Botanical Gardens, the Diamond Botanical, the Mamaka, uh, Historical Parks, the Pigeon National Park, the Fond Don's Estates, the Fond La Sab His Heritage, and the fond and these, okay? The mountaintops, the Pitan Mountains in um, Sofia offers a magnificent, breathtaking backdrop for any wedding. This location can be arranged for your clients by a wedding coordinator or with any of the resorts nearby, including Sugar Beach, Bocan by Hotel Chalat, Stonefield Estates Resort, Landeria, or Anne's Sean says Jade Mountain. The churches. St. Lucia boasts some, uh, some beautiful churches, some with views to the seas, others located in typical fishing villages, and one with an oak with open air views and a stone altar. Um, the Roman Catholic Church is the most popular for overseas weddings and clients are to contact the church directly to request permission. Should your clients opt for a Catholic church wedding, they would simply be required to show proof that they have undergone the same type of marriage counseling period as required in the UK. We recommend that their local parish liages um, with one of the Catholic priests on the island. All right, here we go. You remember all those? Hello. What documents would you need to get to be married if the husband to be has been 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 known by another name and the wife to be is divorced? You need a divorce certificate. Um, and some doll, something name changed the, de the decree uh, absolute. So what documents would your client need to get married if the husband to be previous loan known by another? The deed poll, the deed poll and the decree absolute. Okay. Oh, it's wrong. birth certificate i thought it was the deed poll now i'm confused oh birth certificate i knew it so it's the birth certificate ugh, deed poll and the decree and i got it wrong because i unclicked the deed all right so saint lucia has a no residency policy yes true, true. Which of the following locations are available for your clients to get married? Select the botanical, the waterfall, a church. Uh, I didn't hear an old Victorian castle. A muse, I didn't hear a museum and on the beach, right? Right. Correct. The ruins of military buildings constructed during the battles between the Finch, the French and the British of St. Lucia is one of the most unique wedding ceremonial settings. Where can the ruins be found? The, uh, the Pigeon Island National Landmark. Okay. That's where they're found. 
Um, when do clients require a special marriage license to get married in St. Lucia? Um, if the client is under 18. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. That's wrong. When do clients require a special marriage license to get married? What's the option? If supporting documents are not in English, when a priest is not carrying out the ceremony, if the clients are going to be on the island for less than 24 hours. That one. I don't think that one's right either. But let's see. Oh, you were right. Oh, that's right. They had to have the special. My bad. Which of the following destination management companies in St. Lucia can help ensure that your client's special day is as seamless as possible? Spice and travel to barefoot holidays. I remember that one. Submit. Yes, barefoot holidays. Okay, how much does the standard marriage license cost in St. Lucia? 350 in it. Well, if they're there for three it's days. five something, it's 350. I mean, 24 hours is five something. If they're there longer than three days, isn't it like 350? It was 335, yeah. 335? Yes, 335 EC. Okay, when your clients are Catholic and want to get married in, in a church in St. Lucia, is this possible? Yeah. Yes, they just have to know. Yes, but their local priest with Liasia, whatever that is, with a priest on the island beforehand. So yes, but with their local blah, blah, blah. So that was correct. Your clients only need their passports to get married in St. Lucia. That's false, false right? False. Correct. That was false. Which award has St. Lucia won in nine times? Um, the leading, leading honeymoon destination? Le Caribbean's leading spa destination? Leading water sports destination? Or leading eco destination? I don't remember. Honeymoon? Honeymoon was right. Hey, I got a question. What document did they need to be married if the husband has been previously known by another name or after be divorced? That was the three of them. That was the deed poll, the whatever, the birth certificate, and what are your other answers? I got the decree absolute, deed poll, and birth certificate, and it was wrong. No, it's the... Uh, what are the what are the answers? Passport, birth certificate, deed poll, death certificate, decree absolute. Decree of effort. absolute. Decree of absolute, deed poll, and birth certificate. It's it's giving me a wrong answer on that. That's the one where the wife was married before? No, that's the one the wife, yeah. So again, it's the deed poll. Never mind, I got it wrong. I'll just pass it. Yeah. These rooms are military buildings. What's the what's that one? Of These what? rooms are military buildings constructed during the battle. The, between... his, historical landmark one. This one answer? Yeah. Ready? What? Uh, go ahead. When do clients require special marriage license if they have been there for 24 hours? Which following locations are available for your client to get married? The Barefoot a Botanic Garden, a church, on the beach. Yeah. Was a waterfall one of them? Yep. Destination, which are the following destination? I remember you doing this. Barefoot holidays? Yep. What award has St. Lucia won nine times? Honeymoon. No. Yeah. Uh, two honeymoons. Yeah, yeah. 
I picked the wrong one, okay? State Lucia, no residency party means clients cannot, yeah, true. I'm done. All right, here we go. Entertainment and dining. As night falls in St. Lucia, spirits lift and it's time for liming. That's the local expression for hanging out, ideally with a bottle of local Pinton beer or a refreshing glass of rum punch. The liveliest evenings on the island can be found in Rodney Bay, named the Party Central. Along the, the Rodney Bay Strip, you'll find a cool collection of bars and restaurants serving many different cuisines. If your clients are feeling lucky, lucky, they can round off the night at the slot machines at the Treasure Bay Casino. The nightlife, the St. Lucians love to party. If your client wants to experience partying the local way, luckily there are plenty of weekly options to choose from. Some of the festivities include, but are not limited to, the following. The Gross Islet Street Party in St. Lucia's oldest street party is and is held every Friday. Tourists and locals descend onto the streets of Gross Islet to dance to a mixture of reggae, pop, calypso, and more. The party starts at around 9 p.m. and a wide choice of food and drink is available to purchase. Towards the south of the island, there is a weekly Friday night fish fry, which is held in the, in the scenic fishing village of Anne's um, Larray. This is the perfect night out for seafood lovers who also love music and interested in sampling the catch of the day. Another party can be found on Saturday night in the quaint fishing village of Dennery on the east coast of St. Lucia. Just like Anne's Larray, delicious freshly caught seafood is on the menu and local music fills the air as you party to a backdrop of the Caribbean Sea. Our dining in St. Lucia's Lucian food is a feast for the senses. All prepared from locally sourced organic produce Cleanse your palate with a fine wine and order some freshly caught seafood that's gone straight from hook to cook. The Rodney Bay Strip has over 40 different types of cuisine to choose from with something for everyone. From sizzling burgers to deep pan pizza to Asian flavors and Mexican top to pause. For those who want to take a cookery course, Cook Like a Lucian offers hands-on culinary experience to clients who would like to explore the island's culture and cuisine. Okay, calendar of events, a great way to differentiate St. Lucia from its neighboring Caribbean islands is by its calendar of events. The Caribbean's Summer Festival, which takes place from May through October, remember that one, brings you the best culinary excellence paired with the best rums in the Caribbean. Worldwide jazz greats performing live at St. Lucia's most enchanting venues, weeks of explosive explosions of color, rhythm and creativity seen nowhere else. A festive dedicated to reggae, conscious hip hop, Afro-punk and R&B musicians, and also a chance to experience St. Lucia's rich cult culture, ethnic and artistic heritage. With so much more to see and do, St. Lucia is one of the most exciting stops on the Caribbean cruise itineraries, um, calendars of events. So January, the Noble Lorette Week, St. Lucia, sets one week each year to celebrate the achievements of the two no Nobel laureate, laureates, Sir Arthur Lewis, who won it in 79, and Sir Derek, who won it. A series of panel discussions, workshops, and um, exhibits highlight the achievements. In February, celebrated every year on the 22nd of February, this celebration marks the year of the island gained its independence from Great Britain. In May, 
Since 92, the Jazz Festival hosts the island, has the most famous international jazz festival in the Caribbean. The event consists of a week-long celebration of St. Lucian, Caribbean, and international jazz music with concerts in many different parts of the island. June and July, the carnival in St. Lucia, a month-long explosion of color, colon, 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 oh my gosh, in mid-July with two days of intense street partying. June and July, month-long, two days of street partying. Uh, carnival is a sight to behold. August is the Chocolate Heritage Month. Every August, St. Lucia celebrates the role of cocoa. And its beloved byproduct, chocolate, has played in its heritage. A number of on-island experiences and events throughout this month offer travelers unbeatable chocolate, chocolatey, chocolate, what fun. Mercury Feast, the ultimate beach party, is one of the most anticipated events of the summer. Thousands of people arrive from our sister's. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I had somebody come in. I didn't lock lock the meeting. And now he's waiting in the waiting room. Sorry. Um, yeah, arrive in Sisters Island, a field two-day beach party at Pigeon Island Landmark. Beach, boats, bikinis, floaties, and live concerts. Um, superstars, what could be better? Roots and Souls Festival, dedicated to mu musicians who are setting trends in reggae, conscious hip hop, Afro punk, and R&B. This event in St. Lucia Jazz will consist of many concerts in different parts of the island. September is the Rum Festival. Um, this unique aims in attracting the best chefs and wine con con concierges, rum fanatics, and food critics from all over the Caribbean and internationally. The Dive Feet Fest, St. Lucia is one of the most scenic islands in the Caribbean with world-class dive sites and snorkeling just offshore. There is endless beauty beneath the surface of the rainbow color reefs and abundant marine life. In September, St. Lucia will host the third annual um, Dive Feast St. Lucia, highlighting the St. Lucian dive experience. October is the Arts and Heritage Festival, building on the celebration of the Creo Day, which first began in St. Lucia in 1981. This month-long festival is a celebration of the riches and diversity of the island's culture, ethnic, and artistic heritage. November, the Tri-St. Lucia, the triathlon is hosted in St. Lucia, a week-long festival of fun activities suitable for all ages and fitness levels. Um, the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers, the annual transatlantic sailing competition for racer and cruiser yachts, commences at the end of November in Las Palmas de Gran Carnera and ends in December at the IGY Marina in Rodney Bay. December um, more National Day and Festive of Lights. The Festive of Lights is celebrated each year on December 13th in honor of St. Lucy, um, the patron saint of light, who St. Lucia is named after also making this the island's National Day. The celebration starts around the first week of December with a lantern competition and cul cul culmin culminates on the eve of St. Lucia Day, the 12th of December, which the Parade of Lanterns in the streets of Castries. That would be fun to see, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, ARC is the world's largest transatlantic yacht race and ends in St. Lucia, but where does it start? Great, what the option? Oh my gosh. Um, it didn't even tell us that. Isles of Wight, Las Palmas de Grand, Canera, France or Canera, Italy? Canera, whatever. Okay, the Las Palmas de Grand. Yep, you're right. 
Okay, what is the name of St. Lucia's Casino located on Rodney Bay? Um, Treasure Bay Casino. Yes, Treasure Bay. Where can your clients find a variety of bars and restaurants? Gross Island Village, Rodney Bay Village, Voex Sport Village. Rodney Bay. Which Thank of you. the following events are part of slowly St. Lucia's Summer Festival? Um, I don't know. There's a triathlon held in November. Select all that apply. So which events are part of Soleil, St. Lucia? I'm going to say the jazz, the carnival, the roots and soul. Yes, it was the St. Lucia jazz, the carnival, and the uh, roots and soul festival. Which tourist activity offers hands-on culinary experience to clients who want to explore the island's culture and cuisine? Which tourist hands-on? Um, cook like a Lucian. Cook like a Lucian. Okay, correct. During which month is St. Lucia Jazz Festival held? Um, August, isn't it? No, it's March, June, December, or May. I'm going to say June. Wrong. I'm going to say May. Yes, May. It's May. Okay. St. Lucia's Triathlon is held in November. True. Yes, it is held in November. True. Which event in the Seoul Summer Festival normally takes place in July? Um, the Food and Rum, St. Lucia Carnival, St. Lucia Carnival. Correct. St. Lucia Carnival is held in July. Where can your clients find a variety of bars and restaurants? Rodney Bay. Correct. Um, on which day of the week is the Dennery Street Party held? Friday. No, Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Got them? In the Gross Islet Street Party takes place every Saturday night. False. It's Friday night. Correct. It's false. Okay. Yay. Are we done? Um. Yay. Congratulations. We passed. I Yay. haven't done my question. All of my questions. Okay, hang on. And thank you, everybody. Becky Cohen, I hope you enjoy St. Lucia.